Hiya once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. This is a Dell Inspiron 7700 all-in-one series. Customer is complaining or says that the fan inside of this machine is loud, making noises. Then it shuts down, it, it overheats, uh, basically. So in this video, we are going to replace the fan on this model Dell all-in-one computer. First thing, of course, we got to do, this is the back side of, obviously, we are going to remove the back cover. Something that's really different with this, removing this back cover, you know, as compared to a lot of the all-in-ones that uh, I've worked on, there is absolutely no screws to remove to get the back panel off of this. So very gently, we're going to take a screwdriver and just gently Wedge this in here, and we're going to unsnap it, unsnap this from the base. This just simply unsnaps. No screws, which is a first for me, actually. down the sides, nice and gentle, they're just clips, once we get to this point, we'll just go ahead and lay it down, now notice I have uh, something here to on the table to protect the screen from getting cracked or scratched. That's important. Just some snaps like that. There we go. Now we have our fan here that is making noise or is not working. So I see we have three screws here and also it looks like that the fan cable runs underneath this plate. So we're going to have to remove this plate. There are two screws up top here on this plate. We will remove. And notice at this point you also have access to the drive in here which you may want to replace a hard drive with an SSD. That would probably be a really good upgrade. But in this case he's just complaining about the fan. So we're going to be replacing the fan. There's another screw here. And we got one on this side, right here, where else do we have one, anything, oh, it comes right off just like that. There's your RAM, you could also upgrade the RAM, this has got one stick, this is a 16 gig stick, but Thank you, Dell, for providing two RAM slots. Very common for these PC manufacturers to only give you one slot or don't even add a second slot to save some kind of money, I guess. Right, so this is where your fan is connected. We're gonna go ahead and unplug that. I'm gonna deroute the cables. And we'll go ahead and Take out the screws that are holding the fan in place. Should be just as simple as that. And there's your fan. Okay, we'll uh, match this model number up, uh, get this fan ordered, and get this fan replaced. I will have a link down below in the chat 
this video to this fan that fits this particular model all in one computer. Okay, we now have our new fan. You wanna be sure when you get your fan that it matches up, just matches up with the original one. And this one does. So this is one we're gonna put back. Okay, we'll just take our new fan Slide it right back under. Go ahead and put our screws in. And of course, we gotta be sure to plug our fan in. All right, that's good and plugged in. Get our wires routed just like that, back where they were. And then we can put our plate back on. Right, make sure the fan spins freely and it does. Okay, now before we snap this back cover back on, we're gonna fire this thing up and be sure that that fan is operating normally. Okay, so this is why you wanna test before you close this guy up. Again, this is the old fan, new fans plugged in. When I press the power button, watch very closely how that tries to spin. Up. You saw it try to spin. I actually heard a little hum come out of it. Um, we're actually running uh, the, the system fan uh, diagnostics here currently, and this fan is not running at all. So let me shut it down and I'm going to unplug it. We're going to just unplug this new fan. We're going to plug in the old fan. All right, there's the old fan. Now watch what happens when I plug it in. Oh, look at there. Just from plugging it in, it spins. So even when I when, even when I power on this computer briefly. It starts spinning off perfectly fine. So I can feel it though. I can feel it kind of jumping around. So the fan's definitely going bad. I can feel it. Um, but so what that means is I'm going to have to return this fan to Amazon, the new one. Return the new one to Amazon and uh, see if the next one they send me will actually work. So let's see how that goes. Okay, everybody. I got the second replacement fan put in here. Got everything plugged in. Let me go ahead and hit that power button. Oh, look, we're spinning. Yay, we're spinning. And then we have a post. There we go. And our fan is spinning. So that's it. We'll just put our metal bracket back on and we'll call this job done. Hope this video helps somebody out. Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.